Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports on News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the Detroit Red Wings rounding out their season report and also grading what they did at the trade deadline in order to help them to round out the season and through and through into next year. <clears throat> First and foremost with this Red Wings team, Maurice Sider, obviously, and the other potential, obviously, guy to win Rookie of the Year would be Lucas Raymond. You got both of them. So those two guys are the big kahunas to build around along with the captain, Dylan Larkin. Rasmussen, I think, is finally starting to show more. It hasn't showed to the score sheet totally yet, but is showing a little bit more in his game, and maybe next year's the year he'll take that bigger step. So you got things working. Vron has already got five goals in seven games. He's been a change man in Detroit. So it's all about right seeing those guys to move in the next year and be ready with. I think Valino's played well enough to at least get himself a fourth or third line role going in the next season. Oscar Sundquist is a perfect pickup that plays a great third or fourth line role. And then Tyro Hero, he's a quick skater, a guy that can bring some speed to the bottom six. I don't know if he'll be a steady Eddie guy in the shell, but we'll have to see. And then you got Adam Erne, who's a solid fourth line player. Gagne is a good veteran fourth line player. I don't know if you have him going to next year, but Chase Pearson also is set to make his debut soon, a former fifth-round pick um, from years ago in 2015 that's out of University of Maine, who's played well for Grand Rapids for a few years now, and now he's going to get an opportunity. So you'll see if maybe you can get a good fourth-line center that plays with some good jam and also solid in the faceoff dot and him there. They also acquired Jake Wallman, of course, the deadline. And Jake Wallman's a very solid, still 26 years of age, defenseman that's coming from the Blues system, and now he comes into a Detroit system that I think he's going to get, obviously, more playing time, but get to really fit into nicely and pair very nicely with a guy like Gustav Lindstrom, lefty-right. That actually works out nicely, where Jake Wallman's very good in both ends. Lindstrom's solid in both ends, but is probably still well rounding out his game, where obviously Wallman's three years ahead of him, so he's rounded out his game more, and is still getting better. So I think that pairing makes perfect sense if they do decide to go with that. And then Nedeljkovic, I think, is the guy in net. You, of course, have Sebastian Kosa developing as well. And then Giovanni Smith and Zadina have are banged up right now. And both of those guys, I think, are keys going forward. Same with Ravi Fabry, who's banged up right now as well. So I think this team definitely is set for the future. They were a surprise team this year. If they could have emulated what they did at home on the road, they could even be in the postseason this year rather than other teams. So I think this is a team that even has a chance to make it next season. Uh, Ola Ulevi was even a decent mini pickup that might start doing better as time goes on. So they're making great small pickups and good bigger pickups that have come to fruition, like getting Vrana, of course, uh, when they were able to get Jacob Vrana, getting Wallman this year. Um, obviously bringing in Mark Stoll, who's been a great veteran presence for the team, pretty much a perfect leader in the locker room, bringing in Suncris, who's been in a winning experience. He's a perfect guy to bring in. Having those guys in the locker room is pivotal. So I think this team's pushing great in the right direction. And when it comes to their deadline, I thought they honestly had a perfectly sensical deadline because they had a deadline for a team that's still, I wouldn't even say they're rebuilding at this basically stance. They're more just retooling it to get to being a playoff team this year, or not this year, next year, or the following year, I should say, where they looked like they could have been one this year as a surprise, but you traded Nick Letty, you traded Luke Witalski, who's an AHL veteran that's played, uh, That that's a guy that's really fun to watch because he plays with that snarl, um, but, and then you also have got Jake Wallman, Oscar Sunkers, and a second. So I think that's beautiful for a team that's retooling. Then you got a fourth for Nemesnikov. I think that's a solid trade as well. So I think this team, it makes sense. You also got a seventh for Troy Stretcher, giving guys more opportunity to play so he's not clogging the defense. That actually makes a lot of sense as well. So I think this team, all their trades make perfect sense. They get an A for the deadline as well. And for rounding out the season, this team already being a step ahead, it seems. I think Iserman definitely gets an A this far for what he's been able to do. I wouldn't be surprised if this team even makes the playoffs next year, but definitely go and do it. And I think be the big bad Red Wings again starting. And if it's not next season, it's definitely going to be in the 23 and 24 season if it's not in the 22 and 23 season. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy G's widget. Keep trying to grow into 215 or more to meet our end of March goal. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this far. Good luck on the rest of the season, Hockey Town, Motown, Red Wings fans. Peace out, everybody.